It's the Games and Grabs podcast. This week we talk PS5 rumors and give our thoughts on the WWE draft. I mean, Superstar Shaker. Experience. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 93 of the Games and Grabs podcast. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thanks. How are you? I'm good, man. I feel like, uh, I feel rushed today. I feel <laughs> like time is like completely passing me by, <laughs> and I'm going way too quick. Yeah, I don't know, Benny. Yeah. <laughs> but um, how have you been since I last saw you? Um, tired. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, lack of sleep is kicking my ass right now. I think um, WrestleMania killed us. I think so. I think it literally literally killed us. Yeah, I think it uh, did. I mean, I was to be honest, I was wiped out for pretty much the entire week like following it. Yeah, I'm still wiped out now. <laughs> yeah, I think it's yeah, it probably has taken till about now to get back to maybe some sort of normality. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been completely wiped. Well, WrestleMania is too long. It is. It's like 37 hours long. It's like yeah, and so yet somehow some of the matches were still way too short. It's like, uh, eh, stop putting it with garbage ads and crap and let's watch some wrestling. Come on. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> it doesn't need to be seven hours long. It just doesn't. No, of course not. No. Then it put it in four hours max. Yeah, four hours max, probably. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, just just make it four hours. Don't put everybody on the card. Not everybody needs to be on the card. Yeah, exactly. And then we can just sort of have a, a decent night's sleep. <laughs> And then be prepared for seven hours worth of raw the day after. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's um, it's yeah, it's a bit of a killer. I'm to be honest, I'm not convinced that I'm going to watch it live again. Yeah, to be honest, that did take a toll on me. I think we're getting too old for this shit. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, problem, may, yeah. yeah, maybe we are getting too old, and that's uh, that's that's why it's becoming such a problem. Yeah, maybe. Like, yeah. Actually, we just uh, leave it on leave it on WWE Network. Wake up uh, nice and early in the morning. And just watch it. Watch it as live. Just don't check Twitter. Don't check Facebook on the crap. And just watch it. No, it's spoiler free. Yeah, I think, that sound, I think I think that sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Works for me, Works for me too. Yep, awesome. we're getting old. Yep. <laughs> Couple of old men. <laughs> Couple of just old men doing a wrestling podcast who don't want to stay up to watch wrestling. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, we're old. Um, so Finn, uh, what have you been playing? Um, I'm playing a lot of Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, How are you getting on? Uh, yeah, doing, doing good. Um, just done the uh, Frozen World, mm. Let It Go, etc. Absolutely. Um, <laughs> uh, it's good. Yeah, really good. Um, I'm enjoying it too. I mean, I, I think, to be honest, if, if you've just done the Frozen World and haven't sort of moved on to another world, we're literally at the same point in the game. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, I went back to get some of the like photo mis- mission things, that the little uh, Moogle ones, for those synthesis recipes, whatever. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. So I went back to get some of those. Did a couple of like, the mini games for the trophies. And uh, yeah, we're going to move on to, I think it's a Pirates of the Caribbean world next. Yeah, Pirates of the Caribbean and Big Hero 6 have unlocked. Yes, Big Hero 6 is a movie I've never heard of. So, uh, that's Have you never seen Big Hero, Big Hero 6? Nope. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a Marvel movie. All right, okay. But a Disney movie. Right. And it's uh, set in the fictional city of San Francisco. <laughs> right, of course, yeah. It's Makes a really good movie, actually. You should definitely watch it. I recommend it. It's one of the, uh, one of the Disney movies that I do... Really, really like. Cool. Okay, I'll check it out. The game's mental, though, isn't it? <laughs> uh, it's crazy. Yeah, um, yeah. Uh, some some little things bother me slightly, like um, the repeated dialogue is a pain in the ass. It does well, look like, like a good place to find ingredients. Yeah, that's does annoying. It, yeah, does it, Donald? And like, it took me so long to find. You know, in Frozen, you've got to find like Olaf's body or some stuff. Oh like, yeah, yeah. That took me forever. I could not find the last piece. And it's like they kept going on about it. It's like it should be around here somewhere. Is it, yeah, I know. A goofy's not going on about it. Yeah, but <laughs> like Olaf it. is the same color as everything else in this level. Yeah, I am literally Googling. everything. Yeah, I had to Google yeah. it. I can't figure out where the hell it was. I did find him, but it took me a decent, um, it, longer than it should have taken, basically. Yeah. Uh, other than that, it's all good. Um, the other things like when you're walking, it like has some weird like stutter, and like, stop start like randomly. Oh really? Just, I've not yeah, noticed that. Yeah, I don't know why. Um, it seems to be like when you change direction, it's like stops for a second and then carries on moving. Oh, right. Yeah. I hadn't noticed that. About. Yeah. Maybe it's because the old game didn't have it, so maybe I'm just noticing it more now. Cause I, oh, you know, fair enough. Because I'm just the old way of doing it. Yeah. But uh, yeah, it's weird. Uh, hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I do really like it, but it is crazy. Like, I don't, <laughs> but the story stuff, I'm just sort of, I just, I can't understand it. Yeah, need to go like, that, I played every game and I still don't get it. Like, that <laughs> bit where, like, all the dudes with the crazy hair are, like, stood on, like, rocks and stuff in that yeah. place. And Beautiful. they're all calling each other by weird names, and I'm like, I don't, I don't know what's going on here. I have no idea. It was organization, oh, Christ, organization thirteen. Yeah, sure. The real new organization thirteen. Exactly. See, this is this is it's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've got to get the, the seven pieces of light, the princesses and and stuff, and the <laughs> darkness. Yeah, the sure. Keyboard. <laughs> and then, then you get to Frozen and they play the whole thing of Let It Go, and you're like, it's... oh, okay, this doesn't fit in with this weird story at all. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's the first time I've actually heard the full song. <laughs> it's all right, actually. It it's out. literally the, the the whole bit from the film, but with <laughs> yeah, added yeah. Uh, with with added Sora, Goofy, and Donald walking. Yeah. That's literally what it is. That sounds like Elsa's voice, even though I've had literally one conversation with Elsa this whole time. But you know, yeah, yeah, we know exactly <laughs> what she sounds like, especially her singing voice. Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, why would you not? <laughs> but yeah, but it's a great game. I love it. It is good. What else have you been playing? Um, well, I've recently bought the uh, you know, VR aim controller thingy, Jig. Ooh, um, that's very cool. Uh, so I played a bit of Farpoint uh, in VR, which uh, is decent. Uh, the gunplay is really good. It's fun to like aim and shoot stuff with the gun. There's uh, definitely a but there. But uh, the story is just stupid, um, nonsense, garbage. It may as well not be there. Um, and a lot of the enemies are exactly the same. You're going to be shooting a lot of the same things again and again and again. It's basically just waves after wave after wave of enemies. Um, I got to the first boss fight and it's really long and I died right towards the end of it and then they make me start right from the beginning of it. No. And again, it's, it's like, yeah, it's like one big boss and like hundreds of other little things. And it's like, at that point, I was like, you know what? No, nah, I'm done. <laughs> I'll come back to it later. I know that you mentioned also that it's one of the uh, the few VR games that have make, given you motion sickness. Yeah. So I, th- I think that's, I figured out why. I, th- I turned on a uh, smooth turning. Um, yeah, but since I've, ch- I've since changed it to like stutter aiming, stutter moving, which is oh, okay, yeah. working a lot, better, a lot, lot better. And uh, yeah, when you're, when you're like moving smoothly, it's just like spins my head around. It's like, well, hold on. <laughs> and yeah, after, after about an hour, I was like feeling really sick. It's like for the rest of the day, I just felt really off and good. So yeah, yeah, I recommend not using smooth turning on that. Fair enough. I haven't played it. I mean, I do have it. I just haven't played it. But I want the, oh. I really do want the aim controller. It's good. It's really good. It's too expensive. But, uh, it's way too expensive. Yeah, I mean, I don't yeah. want to pay a hundred quid for it. I mean, I know you didn't. I know you got it uh, a little that's bit second. of a less price. Yeah, well, second hand from Mercy X. Uh, but that's good. I, I really like it. I look forward to playing more games with it. Um, good. Like Borderlands Two VR. It's good. It uh, looks awesome. Yeah, I've played Borderlands Two in VR. It's just Borderlands Two in VR. In VR, but <laughs> yeah. I, I imagine it'd be pretty awesome with the aim controller. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, but other than that. Um, I really wanted to start uh, Ori in the Blind Forest, a classic game I've been putting off for ever. Mm. Um, I saw the games up recently, and I was like, oh, it looks so good, I really need to play it. So I downloaded it onto my Xbox, and still haven't played it. <laughs> so I will definitely get around to it eventually, right I'll have to play some more Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, you yeah. will love that. You will love Ori in the Blind Forest. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's got you that. written all over it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> But it's, it's super pretty, and it, I don't know, it's, it's just great. It's really, really great, and I think you'll like it a lot. Yeah, can't wait. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, what have you been playing? Uh, I've been playing Kingdom Hearts. Of course. A lot. Um, I, I am really enjoying it. it I just, uh, I'm excited to finish it, but just simply because I don't understand the story. I just like going to these Disney worlds and doing stuff <laughs> like that. Yeah. Um, I've been playing Cuphead on Switch. Nice. Awesome. Uh, it's really hard. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I find that the running, the running gun levels are quite difficult. Yeah. Do you want to know I'll who's... Uh, quite difficult. They're brutally difficult. This is, do you want to know who's uh, uh, 100% set game on Xbox? Someone not cool. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's me. I did it. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty impressive, though. Is that like a thousand gamer score? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. It's pretty cool. I love the game. It's so good. Yeah, it's awesome. I love the art style. I just think it's amazing. Yeah, me too. It's just, um, I don't know. It's just, it just feels so perfect. Like the 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 mechanics are great, work so well, um, and the the story is funny. Really, just the, the way it's set out to look like an innocent, yeah. cartoony game, but yeah. it's literally revolving around gambling and yeah, gamble responsibly, kids. Otherwise, uh, you'll have to go and deal with this shit. Yeah. 
<laughs> but no, it's awesome. but, yeah, it's good. Um, what else have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Snooker 19. Ah, okay. How was um, it? It's Snooker. Fair. <laughs> Uh, it's really good, actually. The um, like the the gameplay is really really great, oh. and the TV style presentation definitely helps. Nice. However, <laughs> the character models look like they are made of clay. Yeah, <laughs> nice. it's ridiculous. It's so bad. Like I was playing it earlier on, and Kay was laughing at how like awful the character models actually were. It's, it's just. Oh god, it's bad. Like, don't have officially licensed people in the game if you can't make them look like officially licensed people. <laughs> yeah, it's like yeah. Uh, saw someone compare it to like PS2 graphics. It's like yeah, yeah, PS2, pretty much. Like a PS4 game, like everything else looks like super hard effort and, and awesome, but uh, the character models is from PS2 era. Yeah, exactly <laughs> that. Exactly that. And yeah. it's uh, it's just awful. <laughs> like as far as that goes, but the rest of the game really addictive, really good fun, but. Uh, quite difficult like yeah. brutally difficult <laughs> um, like if you miss a shot the computer will just be like we'll just take the piss out of you basically <laughs> they'll be like right yeah you've missed a shot pop 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 and uh, the game's over yeah <laughs> and you've lost like a dipshit so uh, but that's really good uh, so I definitely recommend that it's, it's only a budget title as well alright um, so cool. it's not a full price 55 pound game or anything like that it's a bit cheaper so well worth looking at Nice. I would say. Um, what else have I been playing? I've been playing a few different bits actually. I've been, I mean, Kingdom Hearts has been my main focus, like trying to get that done. Mm, so that's my go-to single-player game at the minute. Uh, what else? Have we, I've been playing Battle, uh, sorry, Power Rangers Battle for the Grid on Switch as well. Awesome. Go go Power the, Rangers. Uh, the child in me really really likes it. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not a great game. Yeah, that's fair. It's it's a very functional fighting game. Like as a as a two D fighter, it's really really good. Cool. Um, it's just a little bit thin on the ground as far as uh, characters and stages go. Yeah, they seem to have gone down the the dead or alive path with, um, like the way they're doing their DLC. And I don't really like this about fighting games at the minute because it, they all seem to be going down this route, like with staggered DLC releases and releasing the game with very bare bones type content yeah it's a bit rubbish isn't it i mean the dead or alive like, one is the game is like yeah it's like you pay full price for the game and then you wanted to buy more stuff on top of it it's like yeah come on pay right. like 60 quid for this i mean did you see how much the dead or alive season pass was uh, i haven't actually it was like 80 quid oof ow <laughs> for what quid. jiggling yeah. boobs that is it <laughs> yes yeah, now with more jiggly boobs yeah i mean yeah. The, the game is great like, it's really, really good. We played it, didn't we? Before yeah, WrestleMania, we like played a few matches against each other and stuff, and it's great. Yeah. But like, why would you pay money to just see the women in wedding dresses or bikinis or bollocks like that? It just doesn't yeah. make any sense. It's weird. It's really weird. But um, this fair. Power Rangers game, it's good, but it's a bit light on uh, a bit light on content, and that's quite disappointing. But otherwise, okay. I mean, it it runs great, sixty frames per second in handheld and docked. Oh. Yeah. Which is very impressive. But um, yeah, just a bit of light on everything else. Nice. Which is a shame. A shame, yeah, yeah. Speaking of a shame, um, I bought WWE 2K18 for Switch off my uh, off Kay's sister. 18, right, okay. I, it was like, she, she was like, yeah, you can have it for seven quid. I was like, for seven quid, it's worth it to see how bad it is. Fair. And I had a quick match yesterday, Samoa Joe versus AJ Styles. And there are no frames. Yeah, none, none at all. None. <laughs> Just like, as a, if you have one-on-one -on -one matches, it's okay. Yeah. But I thought I'm going to be clever here, and I'm going to load up an elimination chamber. <laughs> Fuck the game! Like I'm surprised my switch didn't blow up. Wow. <laughs> like, it's so slow. It's unbelievable. It just the game shouldn't have been released. Yeah, that's a bit, <laughs> a bit dodgy. I mean, it looks okay. And one-on-one -on -one matches are okay, but anything beyond mm. that, there is no point. Yeah, that's a shame. It's a real shame, but yeah. it's, um, it's it just seems like they rushed it out, and I, yeah. I'm almost 100% certain that that game did not get tested before it was released. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Um, because it needs 32 gig of memory, so if ooh. you haven't got a memory card on your Switch, you're God. fucked. Yeah, 32 gig, that's ridiculous. Was Switch, was Switch game, that's ridiculous. Yeah, for nothing uh, as well. For for no reason. Yeah. The game doesn't even work properly. Very strange. 
It's like, I feel like people are still trying to figure out how to put port games to the Switch. Like, I think Mortal Kombat 11 is coming to Switch. So I'm not, not sure how that's going to look or play, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's concerning as well a little bit. Yeah. Because, um, I mean, Diablo 3 is a great port. Oh, yeah. On Switch. That's, that's cool. really, really good. Uh, it works perfectly exactly as it does on the main consoles. Awesome. Um, I mean, Dead by Daylight's coming out on Switch as well, and that I do worry for because you just see people complaining about Dead by Daylight all the time on PS4 and Xbox One. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Um, and they're like, oh, yeah, it's going to release on Switch. It's going to be about three frames per second and blah, blah, blah. It's like... Beauty nerds. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> but you, I do worry for, like, third-party ports. Yeah. Because they, they generally aren't as good as their main console counterparts, but... To be fair, Nintendo have a lot of exclusives that make, I think make it worth having this bridge for. Oh, one, oh, yeah, I completely agree. I mean, yeah, to be honest, and even stuff like Cuphead is worth like having oh, yeah. on Switch. It runs perfectly. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So you don't really need all these uh, ports or anything. No, you're right. If I want to play Call of Duty, I'll just play it on PS4. I won't play it on yeah. Switch. Why exactly. would, you wouldn't anyway, would you? <laughs> no, no. Like, if you've got the option, you just wouldn't. No, exactly. I could either have a subpar version on my Switch that I can walk around the house with, or I can just sit down in front of the TV and play a proper version. Yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah. Oh, well. But yeah, that's pretty much all I've been playing, to be honest. I just feel like uh, time is bypassing me, and I don't really have time for very much, which is I know. bizarre. I, but... know, I, feel, I feel the same. Cause, like, I have all these plans where I'm going to play Kingdom Hearts, and I'll play, play VR, and then I'll, I'll, I'll definitely start playing Ori, and then I'll play the Kingdom Hearts, um, do something on the computer, and then I'll run out of time, and it's like 7 p.m. It's like, oh, okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just... pretty much. And it's just, yeah. it's frustrating, but I don't know, it's just one of them things, I guess. Yeah. So, old. we are old, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, is this the... I can't even remember the last time we did a proper podcast. Um, it's, I think we did one a couple of weeks ago. Oh, we did the WrestleMania one, wasn't it? The one with the big group one. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. One with Winnie the Pooh's dick being hidden under his T-shirt. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> that was weird, right? It was, a weird, it was a weird one, yeah. But to be honest, like, <laughs> I think the podcast is now just generally weird. Yeah. But it's good. Weird is good, yeah. It means we're different to everyone else. Exactly. Yeah. Um, (laughs) Hidden under his t-shirt. Because that makes perfect sense. Of course it does. Of course we wear a t-shirt. Of course, yeah. There's no no other reason why. I can't even think. Yeah, me neither. No. (laughs) (laughs) Um, So let's talk wrestling. Okay, well first, we'll do that. Oh, actually, Uh, yeah, I think we've got gaming news, haven't we? Yeah, so PlayStation 5 rumours have been... uh, about yeah uh, it's come from sony themselves so not really rumors yet i guess it's just uh confirmation i guess yes yeah uh yeah there's lots of uh, stats here which i totally understand mm. so, um the cpu the ps5 cpu will be an amd chip based on ryzen you know one uh eight yeah times sure eight, yeah eight cores and then some other words uh <laughs> <laughs> the gpu is going to use uh, something called ray tracing uh, traces traces the all those rays. Yeah, yeah. Uh, going to be a uh, GPU is going to be a custom AMD Navi GPU that supports ray tracing, and which is you know good and stuff. Yeah, uh, sure. It's part of 3D audio, which is you know actually I understand and is cool. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> And something else, something else that is actually cool, and I do actually understand, is the PS5 is going to have a, a solid state drive, which is uh, a lot quicker to load games and stuff. Uh, an example they used is they used um, Spider-Man for PS4, and I need uh, quick travel loading from a PS4, it takes about 15 seconds, uh, whereas on PS5, it took about uh, one second, which is like pretty much instant loading, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's really awesome. Yeah, that's really, really cool. Um yeah, I mean, to be honest, I don't feel like I'm ready for a PS5. I feel like the <laughs> PS4 only came out a week ago. This <laughs> is feel like it, doesn't it? Yeah. It's, so it's a bit weird, it's really. It's a bit of um, yeah, exactly. So like, because you know, the fact that we've upgraded, sort of, uh, you know, mid generation, and I don't know, I'm not sure I'm, I'm not sure I'm ready for. Uh, I'm not sure I need it. But I thought this when, you know, the PS3 was coming to its last legs and yeah. i was like i don't, don't need a ps4 and the ps4 comes out and i'm like fuck you ps3 i don't need this <laughs> shit anymore it's the garbage <laughs> yeah um, um see i mean the one thing obviously it's going to be backwards compatible with ps4 yeah, games exactly. which why okay. would it not be yeah that's good I'm glad they did that um 
Yes, I think the pan is going to support uh, 8K. And there's just 4K, so time to buy another TV, I guess. Uh, <laughs> God Almighty, that's the problem, isn't it? It's like uh, just constantly having to buy. I mean, I, I think 8K games are a little bit away. I don't. I think they're still yeah. trying to figure out 4K properly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, it makes sense for things to support 8K, but I don't know, man. I'm I'm not sure people can afford that right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's. Uh, I think. I think. It's, I think it's gone to still a couple of years off. I think. I don't think we'll come out. They won't come out this year. Maybe late next year at the earliest. Maybe what the PS4, PS5. It, sorry, PS5. Yeah. Oh, the PS5 is not this year. No, no, no. no. I think it'll be sort of back end of next year, like around the same maybe release schedule that PS4 had, which I think was like November. Yeah, that sounds about right. That's so I think it makes sense because then they can show it off at E3 and all them other Sony conference things that they have and yeah. stuff like that and um then they can bring it out towards the back end of the year ready for christmas and stuff yeah the final version 7 remake will be a launch title no it won't right, please sony no it won't be yeah it will it'll come out and it's gonna be awesome and everyone's gonna be ha- happy it's gonna come 10 out of 10 reviews and they're gonna love it sure did you see that <laughs> um before e3 there's a a final fantasy 7 like live concert with an orchestra yeah, yeah. It's Sparking like, rumors that Final Fantasy VII Remake is going to resurface. Yeah, it's definitely going to happen. E3 this year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, please. It's going to come out the. Uh, <laughs> it's going to come out the thirtieth of February, twenty never. Oh, sweet! Can't wait. Yeah, um, that's going to be awesome. Confirmed. Um, <laughs> it's really cool things. <laughs> um, obviously, they announced backwards compatibility, which is awesome. Um, it will also use physical media, so no digital only bollocks, which is good. Um. Uh, it will also support PSVR, including current versions of PSVR, so you can use your old headsets with the new PS5, which is good. That is good. Um, um, I mean, I, I fully expect to see a new version of the PlayStation VR. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, it's good to know we won't need to buy one straight away and we can on using our old ones. That's true. Yeah. yeah. This is very cool. But um, you're gonna, we're already going to have to shell out about 350 quid for the console. I don't want to spend another 300 least. on another VR headset. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Um, yeah, that's about it, really. Um and yeah, a few uh, speculations that Death Strand is going to be like a launch title. Uh, Alice Wars 6 is going to be on there somehow. I mean, it's, that's still a long way off, so it probably will be. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, Death Stranding doesn't surprise me. I think it'll be sort of like the way they did The Last of Us. Mm. Uh, it might be a late PS4, and then there'll be a, like a, a re-release on PS5, or they'll release a version for both at the same time, perhaps. Yeah. Um, I think it'll be the same for The Last of Us. That'll be the playstation 4's proper last hurrah yeah and then they'll bring out the last of us 2 remastered um on playstation 5 when that does launch yeah makes sense because i still think the last of us is coming this year i mean it's only april it could happen could that happen excuse me i Uh, think i think back end of this year i'm 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 just i don't care for rumors and stuff like that i just think (laughs) i mean it's finished now they finished the um like the the acting aspect of it so I think um, it might come out this year. Might I'm not sort of cool. confirming that it will because obviously I have no fucking <laughs> clue. But uh, I think it. Uh, I think it might come out this year. Yeah, I think we'll see a lot at E3 this year, mm. and they'll uh, announce release date then. Um, what do you think to this discless Xbox thing that's coming out? <laughs> um, I think it's violent wank to be honest. Uh, <laughs> I think it's, I think it's way too early to be digital only. Um, Apparently they've taken it apart and they've, they've seen like the disc eject button still there, and all, all the basically all they've done is taking out the drive and sending it as like a new box. It's like, mm. uh, really? <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah, I mean it's. Um, I mean I get it, but I mean for for people, I mean I do prefer digital. Obviously, you know you prefer to have physical. Uh, mm. Although I know you're not, you know, objecting towards digital media no. at all. Yeah. But um, I think it's. I think digital uh, a digital only future is a while away yet because people do still like to collect games. I mean, oh, yeah. the problem I've got with this digital Xbox, I mean, and I'm an Xbox fan, I am, but um, why would you pay two hundred pounds for an Xbox that you can't put discs in when you can buy an Xbox One S for two hundred pounds, where you have the option of both? Yeah, right. It's crazy. And that's that's the thing that's a little bit confusing to me. I just don't understand why they're doing it. They should have released it probably at a much lower price point, and in which point then I would understand it. I think a little bit more. Yeah, it made sense. It did like like one fifty, 
Like yeah, one fifty. Yeah, yeah, one. You know, between one three five and one fifty, something like that. Yeah, that makes more sense. But uh, yeah, I, I just, as I said, I don't think uh, Digital Only is going to be only coming in time soon. I think we're still going to have discs for at least the next gen. Oh yeah, I do as well for sure. Yeah. I mean, and the, uh, to be honest, I think a lot of the time games are too big to just constantly download. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, it's like a one. I think it's isn't it just a one terabyte hard drive as well in this uh, Xbox. Yeah, it wouldn't bother me. And which, what's the point in that? Yeah. I mean, some games are absolutely Perfect. enormous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, with Emerson came on two Blu-ray discs. It, it's like, <laughs> bloody hell. Jesus Christ, did it really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, 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 See, I, think, I think, I believe it's the only current gen game that came on one, one disc. Wow. Yeah. So I think we're, we're, we're far away. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. What else we got? We got any more gaming news? Um, I think that's about it, really. As far as I know. Um, yeah, that's about it. Nothing major happened this week. I don't think other than the PS5 stuff. Mm. Okay, uh, let's let's talk wrestling. Yeah. Okay. I don't cool. feel like we need to talk WrestleMania because no. people have already <laughs> suffered through eight hours of WrestleMania or whatever it was. Yeah. Uh, it was fine. It was fine. I mean, I don't think it was good. I don't. Well, I don't think it was bad. I don't. No, I don't no. think it was great. It was just okay. Yeah. So people were saying it's like the best WrestleMania in years. No. I was like. No, it isn't. Mm, no. Yeah, I don't know if I was just too tired and was like, by the end of it, I was just like zoned out and I barely even remember after matches. <laughs> I, went, I went back and watched uh, Daniel Bryan versus Kobe Kingston, which I think is the best match of the night. Um, oh, easily, yeah. I mean, I think I thought it was okay. I mean, I, I'm not saying it was like the worst WrestleMania in years, but I'm just oh. saying it was just. I think it just blended in with yeah. other WrestleManias. I don't think it was anything special. Uh, there was nothing overly memorable about it. Apart from, you know, Kofi's win was great and the match was really good. But other than that, I don't really think it was um, a great show. I think it'd be, I think you'd be overselling it if you were to call it that. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. It was just, it was fine. It was good. Just, you know, just fine. Yeah, it was like, okay. <laughs> I, I mean, I won't be going back to watch it again. No, neither. So it's, um, it's just, it was just okay. Yeah. Medium. I mean, NXT TakeOver stole the weekend. Oh yeah, the next day was insanely good. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think Great. as far as wrestling goes, it gets any better than that. I know yeah, we spoke exactly. about it on the last podcast, so we don't need to go into detail with it. But um, yeah, I mean, NXT Takeover was just so good. Yeah, every match on the on the card was just amazing. Yeah, it was insane. It was absolutely awesome. It really was. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was. It was just crazily good. But um, so obviously, since WrestleMania, we've had average. Raws and Smackdowns? Yeah. A few uh, few heel turns, a few, you know, had a super, superstar shake-up <laughs> <Super star shake-up laughs> this week, called The Draft, as it should be called. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't like the superstar shake-up. I think that sounds terrible. They're just dra- I, I miss The Draft. You know, like when they d- used to, like, stand at podiums on the ramp? Yeah, exactly. I used to like cool. that. It just added a little bit more something different, other than, right, you're going there, you're going there, and we'll advertise some people, but other people will just put a picture up of people who are gone and it's like uh, <laughs> yeah. it, it feels less special yeah i mean i know well, you had the like the supplementary draft to like afterwards yeah. like before but i don't know i think i uh, just i don't know it was okay i thought bad for eric young all he had was like a picture of after the show and he's like right in the back of everyone else who got drafted it's like oh man <laughs> oh man get, he's get, never gonna be on raw yeah poor guy. he'd be on main <laughs> event <laughs> yeah probably so it's sanity main, main is split event. up now yeah, is main event even still a thing? I think so. I mean, is I don't it? know. I, I haven't watched it in years. Yeah, so. But I uh, mean, it might be a thing. Who knows? Because surely they can't film an hour of TV before Raw. Yeah, that'd be weird. But it's probably not a thing anymore. I haven't heard, I haven't heard about it. In no, I haven't watched it in ages, to be honest. Yeah. It might be a thing. I have no idea. Who knows? Um, anyway. So Sanity are done. Yes, yeah, Sanity are done. Um, Where's Alexander uh, Wolf gone? Um, rumors are he's going to NXT UK, which is going to be interesting. Well, that's good though, because that's then he good. can team up with uh, like either Walter or he can team up with the European Union, mm. and I'm more than okay with that. Yeah, me too. He's you know super talented, super talented guy, and uh, yeah, I think he'll be very good in uh, NXT UK for sure. Yeah, I mean, Sanity didn't. He never took off on the main roster. It just, I know, it just wasted. It died so very quickly. I mean, I yeah. think in part that's down to uh, a Paul in booking. Yeah. And not bringing Nikki up at the same time was a huge mistake that I yeah, think uh, that they made. 
I um, it's a shame because I really like Eric Young and I always have. It's like since his TNA days. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Killian Dane is another one for me who could be a huge star, oh, but yeah. I think might be better suited to NXT UK. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I always like to get in there. Um, yeah, and, and yeah, I think NXT UK be a good place for him, him as well. To be fair. Yeah, I do. I really do. Yeah. Um, it's it's a sh- it is a shame that it didn't work, but you know the crowd were dead every time they hit that entrance. Yeah, strange. I mean, they were popular for a short time in NXT, but I don't think they were super over there either. To be honest. Yeah, I think they were attacking champions once for a little while. Then yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it didn't last long, but no. I think Eric Young and Alexander Wolf were the tag team champions, or I, I so. can't even remember. Yeah, who knows. Because there was another one, wasn't there? Sawyer Fulton. He was com- been completely forgotten about. Oh yeah, I think he was. He was replaced by uh, by uh, Dane, wasn't he? Killian Dane. No, I think he was replaced by Alexander Wolf. Oh, was he? Hmm. Better. Well, actually, uh, I don't know. Yeah, no, you are right. You're right. He was replaced by Killian Dane. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, that's fair. Because I think he got injured. Yeah, I think he did. Yeah, just sort of ask him. We'll get someone else. <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, fuck it. We just don't need him anymore. It's fine. Yeah, we won't, we won't mention it ever. Just just pretend that this is just how it's always been. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> He's he's actually on WWE 2K18. I noticed him yesterday. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. <Nice. laughs> With like sanity music and everything. All right. Good All times. Right. <laughs> yeah. What did you think to the Superstar Shake-Up otherwise? Eh, it was, you know, all right. He had a few big moves. Um, we'll go through them all in a little bit. Um, yeah, it was okay. Not as good as previous years, but yeah, it was fine. Yeah, I think um, SmackDown uh, is looking good. Yeah, definitely. I think the the inclusion of Roman Reigns on SmackDown is massive, and it really right. is. I mean, people say whatever they want about Roman Reigns. Uh, Vince McMahon probably isn't far wrong in what he says about him being the biggest acquisition in SmackDown history, yeah, because yeah. he is popular. Like he's yeah, the he's the big merchandise seller for WWE now. Mm-hmm. He's like the replacement for Cena, yeah, and definitely. I think it's I think it's a good move. I think with Seth Rollins being the Universal Champion, I don't think Roman Reigns can realistically. The only way he'd be able to do it is if he turned heel. Yeah, which would be awesome. But oh, he would happen. be. It'd be so good. <laughs> but it won't happen, at least not yet. Yeah. So I think um, for him to go on to SmackDown to be is, is a very good move. Yeah, that is good. Makes sense. Absolutely, yeah. Definitely makes sense. Um, who else do we... I mean, have you got a list in front of you? Uh, I do. Um, so what SmackDown? When we to SmackDown, we have, of course, Roman Reigns. Mm-hmm. We have uh, Finn Balor, who brings the Intercontinental Championship with him. Oh, yeah, which, that's an interesting one, actually. Yeah, because that means we've now got Finn Balor and Samoa Joe on SmackDown. Although, apparently, Samoa Joe was very sick for war, so maybe he just didn't turn up them because he was ill. So maybe oh, he was ill? Maybe, yeah, apparently, so apparently he had the flu and wasn't well. Ah, right. So do, yeah. do, do we think he brings the United States Championship to, to Raw, then? I think so. I think it makes sense. That does make sense, because he wasn't on Raw or SmackDown, was he? Yeah, it'd be weird having him on like having an IT championship and you know, IT championship and the WWE championship and the tag team championship all in one, all in one brand. A bit weird. Yeah. That, you know, that does make sense. If Samoa Joe was ill, then he's going to come to raw. That's that's, that makes sense. Yeah. Makes sense. Cause uh, they swapped them over last year as well, didn't they? Uh, I think so. Yeah. Cause Jinder Mahal was a uh, United States champion. And Jeff sure. Hardy came to raw and beat him. Good memory. Or something like that. And then <laughs> like it. something happened. I don't know. Either way, <laughs> The, 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 they swapped the belts last year because Miz was IC champion, if I remember rightly, this time last year. Uh, yeah. Maybe, yeah, I don't know. That sounds right. Uh, yeah, we sure. had the uh, Elias. Uh, we had Bailey. He got booed, weirdly, on the SmackDown. Massively booed. I think it's because yeah. of the way the two of them have behaved. Yeah. Blame because, <laughs> you know, I think, it, well, yeah, probably. But if rumours are to, to be believed, mm. that obviously the two of them were very sort of prima donna ish in the way they behaved when they lost the tag team tri- titles or when they learned that they were going to lose the tag team titles yeah it's a uh, weird one because apparently they were told they were going to be uh, you know uh, champions for a while to start with and you know they're going to be used to build up the championship to meet something special uh, but then they found out like last minute uh, actually now we're going to go with the iconic instead and that's a bit wobbly, bit of a wobbly the thing is <laughs> uh, right the thing with it is for me I mean, I think I've spoken about it before here, but the tag team titles, the women's tag team championships, they didn't feel special. No. They weren't being defended. Um, Sasha and Bailey were fighting in 
singles matches or multi-women tag team matches every week. So the, the titles weren't being showcased as they probably should have been. Yeah. Um, and I think that is possibly down to the fact that Sasha Banks wasn't 100% fit for competition. Yes, maybe. And since then, of course, Sasha Banks hasn't been seen on Raw or SmackDown and she's kind of doing her own thing and she's been sort of really threatened to leave WWE, which, you know, if she's going to behave, then it's fine. <laughs> yeah, over losing predetermined championship belts. Yeah, it's like... It's on. childish behaviour, like... It is. I mean, they should be honoured enough that they were even given the... You know, they, they, I mean, they'll always be the first ever WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Yeah, yeah. And they'll never be able to take that away from them. So, like, in the history books, like, they always mention Pat Patterson being the first ever Intercontinental Champion. Yeah, exactly. Like, Sash, not that I'm saying the Women's Tag Team titles will ever be as <laughs> notorious as the IC title, but, you like know, that. they're the first ever Women's Tag Team Champions. Yeah, exactly. It's a big deal. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's their fault that they didn't get over. It was the way that they were booked in the matches after winning them. Yeah. But uh, I think throwing a paddy and threatening to leave just... I mean, I think what they've done is seeing the way that others have behaved recently <laughs> and seeing what they've gotten out of it. Yeah. Like the Usos got a massive tag team title run and a move to Raw. Yeah. And they've also signed new contracts. So it's... I don't know, man. I just think it's a, it's a weird time for people in WWE because if the you know the internet will have you believe that the WWE is in turmoil and people are threatening to leave left, right, and center. The 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 actual fact is that you know there's there's too many wrestlers and not enough top spots. Not everybody can be the top guy or girl. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's a uh, yeah, tough one. Like Luke Harper's requested his release, and I'm I have no doubt that he'll be granted it. But oh, yeah. you know he will go somewhere else and potentially be thrust into a top spot. Yeah. But the thing is, if you bring him back now, people will care very little about him and he'd just get lost in the shuffle with the other top guys. Yeah. Yeah, I think I think Luke Gobble will go away, get some success in these and stuff and come back uh, better and even better and stronger. And, yeah. I think so too. Um, I, I think he's a great talent, oh, yeah. but because he's he's been his career has been so stop start in WWE. Obviously, you had the Wyatt stuff, then the breaking up from Rowan, then getting back with Rowan, and then being the tag team titles with a terrible gimmick um, in the Bludgeon Brothers, which I just didn't like at all. And then I think hey, where he was it him who got injured? It was, wasn't it? Uh, I think so. Yeah. And then once again, they had to drop the titles, and then he was off TV. And as harsh as it is you get forgotten about. Yeah, it's a shame. It is a shame, but it's the harsh reality of professional wrestling. I know WWE have got three, well, four brands, but, you know, it's it's hard to, with no really real established divisions as such, what, you know, where, where does everybody go? Yeah, exactly. I mean, to We're be honest, they could probably afford to drop a few. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's coming it's up to that time of year anyway. True, very true. Um, yes, right. Who else do we have? Um, as well as the baby, we've got uh, Ember Moon. Yeah, to uh, to back down, which is uh, cool. Hopefully, you get some sort of push out of this. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, we've got Kami Sane coming up from the next which is pretty cool. I'm not sure about this tag team with Oscar, though. Uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one because, like, she has like a perfect tag team with uh, Io Shirai, Sky Pirates, and NXT. Yeah. And we get to get replaced by another J Japanese lady because apparently they're, you know, interchangeable. Uh, yeah, apparently so. so. Yeah. It's like, I mean, it's fine. I like Asuka. I like Kari Sane, so it could be cool, but I feel bad about Io Shirai. Uh, I do as well. I mean, well, like Paige was like, oh, I've got two brand new women. It's like, mm, you've got one. You've got brand new women and Asuka, yeah. Yeah, it's and just... it, I, I don't know. The, the, the whole thing was built up to be, yes, they are a brand new tag team, sure. But... Yeah. Um, uh, I don't know. I, th I my personal feeling is that it should have been uh, Io Shirai, and they maybe should have shifted Oscar back to Raw. Yeah, maybe. Oh well. Um, and we've also got uh, Lars Sullivan. Good to see him back. Yes, uh, which is awesome. Um, Lars is a huge beast. I think he's going to be just fine. <laughs> um, yeah, I do as well. Yeah. Yeah, he's he's got awesome moves. Or he looks awesome, and he's going to be awesome. Uh, I think people are going to hate on him because he's a big guy. And yeah. obviously, that's the archetypical WWE superstar is the big guy. Yeah. But, um, you know, 
I, I mean, I, I've, I've met Lars Sullivan, and he's genuinely one of the nicest people I've ever okay. met. Oh, nice. That's awesome. And I think, um, you know, obviously he's had some problems recently with his mental health and stuff, which is, mm. which is awful. And, I, I, you know, I hope he's doing well now. Um, the last thing he needs is negative backlash from the audience, especially if he does suffer from mental health problems and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, um, I mean, yep, he's going to be a heel, but um, I just I hope that he's received well going forward. I think he's seemingly going for some sort of uh, veteran squashing gimmick at the minute to yeah. establish himself, it would seem. Obviously, he took out Kurt Angle, took out Rey Mysterio, took out R-Truth. Oh, yeah, it was R-Truth, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, I, I'm I'm happy to see him on TV finally. Yeah, it's good. It's good to see him. Glad he's uh, overcome his uh, his problems. I do think this leads to a fight with Cena. Yeah, Volley. That'd be cool. Yeah, I think it does. I really do. Um, because I think that was the original plan from anyway before he did sort of um go off because of his problems. So I think for him to sort of go on and like destroy all these uh, veteran superstars, um, and he can sort of come out and say that. He might need a mouthpiece for me. I, mean, I think he might need a manager. Maybe. Like a, not, not, you know, like Lashley needs Leo Rush because Lashley can't speak, basically. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. I think he might need uh, like a, a, a mouthpiece. Like, like someone like Paul Heyman. Something like that. I'm not saying Paul Heyman, but someone like that. Because uh, he's not a great talker. That's fair. Um, all it's, you could just be like a silent, like, stunning killer kind of guy. He's like, turns up and saying things to beat the hell out of you. Um, yeah, that could be pretty cool. That could work, that could work for him. Uh, yeah, I think that could work for him as well, actually. Um, either way, I'm just happy to see him on TV. Yeah. And I just hope that he... Because he's, he's gone to SmackDown, hasn't he? So, oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I think he's going to appear in sort of... Sort of like Lacey Evans did. Like, appear and then disappear very quickly. Um, yeah, like, in sense. order to build them up and give them some exposure on TV and stuff like that. Yeah. Before, like Lacey Evans now, who, who's obviously exploded on... And there's actually having matches and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Um, we had uh, Buddy Murphy, which is an interesting one, from 205 Live. Mm. Coming to SmackDown. That'd be cool. What does this mean for the Cruiserweight division? Um, I think it's fine. Losing one guy, I don't think it's going to make a huge amount of difference. Um, Cedric thing, Alexander's you know, gone to Raw, though. True. But I think you can bring up guys from NXT to 205, I reckon. Um, from NXT, well, to 205. Um, so, yeah, interesting. Yeah, you're right, actually. I'm sort of uh, probably underselling 205 in the talent they've got there, to be honest. But because um, it feels like they've lost three of their top guys. Mm, true. Because obviously Mustafa Ali, or Ali, Ali, as they're now calling him, which is just uh -huh. nonsense to me. <laughs> yeah. um, you know, uh, Buddy Murphy, who, of course, was the champion for ages and literally weighs 265 pounds, so not a cruiserweight. Yeah. And to be honest, Cedric Alexander is muscly as shit as well, so I'd be surprised yeah, if he yeah. weighs 205. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but I think uh, they can sort of probably build. They've got, like, Humberto Carrillo and some of the cool people that have gone up recently, so I think I'd be yeah. fine. Yeah, me too. That'd be fine. Uh, then we had uh, Liv Morgan, which is breaking up the Wyatt squad. It was another team that really got a, a chance. Because all dumb idea. Lose. Dumb. It was dumb. Yeah. Because like, well, it was a good team, and then they brought them up, and then they just lost. Repeatedly, over and over and over again, to Ronda Rousey and Becky and Charlotte and everyone else. Yeah, yeah. That, that killed them, I think. Yeah, definitely. It's a shame. It's a massive shame. It's just it's such a stupid decision. I mean, um, my worry is that Liv probably is the weakest out of all of them as far as wrestling goes. Yes. Um, yep, sure, she looks good, and she looks the part, and all this sort of stuff. I just worry. Yeah. It didn't really work for her as a solo act in NXT. I just yeah. hope that she can sort of, that you know, take what she's learned as part of the Riot Squad. Because um, she has improved, there's no, there's no doubt about it, she has. Oh, yeah. I just hope she doesn't get lost in the shuffle on SmackDown, because SmackDown has actually, I mean, instantly with the... Um, you know, with Ember Moon and Bailey going up to SmackDown, I think, or going to SmackDown rather, I think yeah. that has improved the SmackDown women's division already. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, so yeah, interesting, interesting one. Uh, speaking of breakups, we had then had uh, Chad Gable, which is breaking up obviously uh, Rude and Gable. Good. Yeah, good. Especially now as Rude's a heel, which I think is you know the best place for him. Yeah. Um, yeah, Rude is, Rude is a heel will be super awesome. Hopefully, get some sort of push uh, on Raw. 
I hope so. Um, Chad Gable also needs to stop wearing pants because his <laughs> his abs make me ashamed to be a man every week. On uh, <laughs> every, every week he steps out of out of the curtain in in his pants with his Churok esque body. Chad Gable, dinosaur hunter. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> then we had uh, Apollo Crews on the back now. Great. Cool. Again, the one that I definitely need to push some talk. Cause God, awesome. yeah. Yeah, I think... <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Apollo Crews is so good. He is. But they've... I mean, they've fucked it. They have, haven't they? They've, they've, they've fucked it. Yeah. It's yeah, a shame. Yeah. It is um, a shame, yeah, because he's really good. I just... I don't know. I don't ever see him doing anything notable. He's going to come out next week and win the IC title or something, but now I've <laughs> said that... I don't know. Yeah, who knows? The thing is, Apollo Crews is better than Kofi Kingston. Ooh. As a wrestler, he is. Ooh. Apollo Crews could have been a main event guy, but they moved him up from NXT way too quick, yeah. and he just got lost. Yeah, I agree. And they did nothing with him. Main event guy, yeah, definitely. And they, they put him with Titus O'Neil, who was never going to be a main event guy, ever. Ugh. Yeah, he is garbage. Uh, awful. Come, he's, he's only got a job because he's a good ambassador for WWE. Yeah. I like, just always charity work and stuff like that. As a wrestler, he's fucking awful. It's, and it, what proves this is the fact that his career highlight was him falling underneath the <laughs> ring. <laughs> exactly, yeah. Uh, I tell you. Uh, so um, I, I would like to see Apollo Crews um, do something special on SmackDown. Yeah, because he is better than Kofi. And Kofi's a fan movement that now is the WWE champion. Yeah. Still throwing pancakes. Still throwing pancakes. Yeah. Um, uh, we'll talk about uh, <laughs> SmackDown New Day in a little bit. But um, we've, also got, uh, we've also got Mickey James coming up. Which is yeah, I forgot she was even there, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, me too. Was. Uh, yeah, that's, 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 that's fine. Uh, we've also got uh, Ojiz and Tucker, uh, Heavy Machinery, to SmackDown as well. Oh, okay. That's fine. That's fine. Fine, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> they need uh, to i'm fine with the the comedy gimmick i am mm. but they can be so much more than that they could be absolute destroyers the two of these guys are fucking huge i yeah. know otis dozovic is like a, a midget but like a massive midget it's pretty, pretty much yeah he's like a giant horn swoggle <laughs> yeah seriously it's just... but i think uh, they, they, they could be good yeah they could be awesome uh maybe uh, so we've got uh <laughs> we've got monday night war of course um to uh, points back onto war, we've got eight styles, which is good, pretty, pretty huge. That's very good. That's good because um, uh, I want to see AJ Styles versus Seth Rollins. Uh, yes, that would be very nice. Please, thank you. Please, please, and thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and we've got uh, the Miz, Face Miz, which is uh, <sighs> the Miz. Please, the Miz. Uh, we've got Ricochet and Alistair Black coming good. to war. That's good. Um, We'll come to those in a minute. Uh, we've got uh, Andrade, who had an awesome match with uh, Finn Balor. Yes, really good. Really good, which he won, which is perfect. Good. Good. Good stuff. Uh, with Selena, Selena, Selena Vega, of course. Yep. Um, we've got Rey Mysterio, Bioka. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't know about you, right? But I just don't care about Rey Mysterio anymore. Legend, obviously. Great yeah. masked wrestler. Probably one of the best to ever lace up a pair of boots. But I just, it's, I just don't think he's. I don't think people care about him that much anymore. Yeah, um, I mean, he can still have awesome matches, uh, like oh, he had sure. with Andrade, which um, wasn't any good. Um, but yeah, I think he needs he needs something else to uh, bring him bring him back. He's, ve to, uh, he's very stop start, I think. Yeah, yeah. Well, he has a great run of matches with Andrade, and then does nothing else. Yeah, and he gets injured. <laughs> yeah, like last minute plan changes and things like that. They've really sort of stunted his return, I think. I, I just don't think it's as special as it potentially could have been. Plus, yeah. the mohawk on the mask is terrible. It's not great. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, yeah. It's bad. Uh, then we've got the Usos, of course. Yep, good. Cool. Uh, and Naomi, which is fine. Sure. <laughs> okay. Um, EC3, who just got squashed by Braun Strowman, which great, is yeah. One, which is uh, EC3 should be. Could be the next John Cena. He's like he's perfect. He's got he's huge. He's got awesome charisma, and yet he's doing nothing. He's getting squashed by Ron Strowman. It's like, well, how are you messing this up, Vince? Come on, <laughs> <laughs> this is your perfect superstar, Vince. Seriously. This is your wet dream wrestler. Yeah, what are you doing? Like, like Vince uh, wakes up in a sticky mess thinking about people <laughs> like EC3. Exactly. Come oh my on, god, I, I love him. 
I love him. But then, like, that's the thing. It's just, oh, I don't know, man. It's just, it's fucking stupid. That's the, that's the problem. It's so dumb. It's so dumb. And it's like, I think, I mean, it was weird because the other week, well, last week, actually, in, like, a dark match on SmackDown, before SmackDown, um, EC3 came out with Drake Maverick as his manager. Oh, interesting. But that was nowhere to be seen on Raw this week. I thought this is going to be a new direction and um, like Dixie Carter even tweeted about it. Interesting. Not that her, she's the be all and end all in wrestling, no, but no. <laughs> uh, even she tweeted about it. She was like, oh, that's, this is an original idea. These two are money together. And they are. Oh, yeah. Definitely, yeah. Um, cool. So I think that would be good going forward. Yeah, so hopefully um, let me give it a couple of weeks and then have it easy to come back with uh, Drake Maverick. Let, let, let people forget they got squashed by one stream in that time. Give them a few weeks and then come back with, with their Drake and then yeah, start talk. yeah, maybe. I think the problem is, and it is a problem, is that I it's I just don't understand the way these guys are booked. You know, yeah, like why squash EC three? I know it's... they could have you could have squashed anybody on that roster. I know, literally anyone. But why a quote unquote debuting EC three? Yeah. No sense. It's brain dead to me, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, the hope was that he was actually going to mount some sort of fight back against Braun Strowman and look really strong. Yeah, it could have been awesome. But I'm fucking stupid for thinking that, aren't yeah. I? Apparently so. Yeah, me too. And he gets choked slammed through cardboard. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the cardboard stage. Yeah. Uh, oh, God, no. Good God oh, Almighty. Ah, oh, cardboard boxes. Shit. Then, of course, you had uh, Eric Young uh, breaking up sanity. This is a uh, the picture behind, you know, every, every other superstar just kind of mm. placed in there, very soft in there. That's probably the only time yeah. you'll ever see Harry Young on Raw. <laughs> probably, yeah. That picture. Uh, shame. <laughs> and uh, we had Ced- Cedric Alexander, another one from 205 Live, which is yep. really cool. Huge future if they book him correctly and don't yeah. fuck it up. If they don't easy 3 him, then yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, he's awesome. He's great. Is the ice cream truck going past your house at the minute? It sure is. <laughs> Cheers, ice cream man. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have be a right. 99, please. <laughs> yeah, be right back when you get ice cream. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's uh, all the draft picks. Uh, these ones have been announced so far. Lacey Evans went to Raw. Oh, yeah, Lacey Evans. Mr. Lacey Evans, yes. Um, just what obviously. Think to Lacey few. Evans? Um, she's very pretty. Um, she <laughs> certainly is. She is definitely that. <laughs> and I'm not a huge fan of, like, punches being used as finishes or signatures. That just makes no sense because, like, you get punched in the face all the time in wrestling. It's like... <laughs> um, other than that... <laughs> Yeah, other than that, I think it's, it's, the things are right. It's just, you know, decent. Like I liked a moonsault, which he did. Yeah, um, about killed poor Natty and broke her ribs, probably, but I don't know. Um, yeah, yeah, that was cool. And yeah, it's just fine. And yeah, hopefully, yeah, hopefully she improves. I mean, I think she's going to be the one to take the belts from, or take one of them from Becky. Hmm, interesting. Because, I mean, you know, we've been reading over the last few months that she's going to be the one that's in for a huge push. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I mean, I'm I'm all for it. I really am. I really I think she's good. I, I liked her in NXT. I think she's um, she's got a great look. Oh yes. I mean, this woman is clearly hard as balls. She was in the military. Oh yeah. She's a, a, she's a, she's younger than you and I, <laughs> and she's a veteran. Damn. Damn. And you know, she looks the part. Um, she speaks very well. Yeah. Um, and her character is very very cool. And I think she could do quite well I like just because she's blonde people are comparing her to charlotte um they are really? nothing alike <laughs> no <laughs> nothing yeah, alike it's a weird one yeah but no, i think she's got a definitely got a bright future yeah i do as well yeah yeah um the other thing uh people have got called up uh but of course the war raiders except they're not called that anymore oh uh, they're called the viking expel <laughs> Viking, ex- yeah. I can't even say it. I can't, I can't say it. You say it for me. It's so bad. The Viking expert. Ex- ex- <sighs> Why? 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 The, the Viking experience. <laughs> oh, sake, oh, sorry, man. Open my mouth a little bit. The Viking. You are a multi-million dollar company with like a bajillion <laughs> writers. The best you could come up with. The Viking experience. <laughs> what? I what? How they, they must have like Vince must have been like okay so uh, we need a name for you guys oh we're already uh, we're War Raiders uh, mm, I'm not sure about this you can't say War on PG for some t- shitty stupid reason do you think that's it do you think that, that is, is the reason that is absolutely the reason 
which is dumb. <laughs> it's just like you can't say war. Why is war a bad word? It's war just a thing that exists. It's fine. It's like <laughs> like what the kids learn in school. They learn about World War Two. No, we learned about well, Stooty Stooty Bang Bang experience too. It's like. <laughs> 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 like, like what what the hell i don't get it like why is war such a bad thing i mean war obviously is a bad thing but why is the word war a bad thing you're called war which is pronounced the same as war basically it's it's, like, it's the same word but backwards. yeah and it's just uh it's it's just to me it's uh it's just oh, <laughs> i can't i can't i just like Eivor and Eric or Ivor or whatever they yeah, called him. Not Rowan Hunt anymore. It's Eric. Why? That was Ivor. so it was fine. Yeah. But it was fine, completely fine. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's I, just <laughs> It's so bad. Like, what have you done? And the heels as well. They brought metal heels. Because that makes sense. The thing is, right, the whole thing, like, they would do war, wouldn't they? So like they'd put, throw the devil horns up and they'd be like, War, yeah. war. Exactly. What are they gonna do now? Experience, Viking, experience, Viking. experience, experience. Yeah, it's, it's stupid. <laughs> it really it's sense. so stupid. Uh, I mean, they're great. At them. I mean, they're awesome, but they're I mean, destined yeah. for nothing already. I mean, they were the number one trend on Twitter the whole day after Raw. Yeah. Uh, like, all of it. Like, War Machine, War Raiders, the Viking Experience, Eivor, Eric. It's like, they were like the top <laughs> six like, sort of whatever trends. It's like, no, this is so stupid. Yeah, it makes no sense. It's like, what's your favorite video game? Are we like God of Norse mythology experience? Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's like suddenly deciding you can't say the word table anymore. It's like, oh my yeah. god, it's slamming right through that that plank ta- experience. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's they've <laughs> they, they've they've hit him with the sitting down thing experience. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Uh, yes, we're not called the Games and Graphs uh, podcast anymore, by the way. We're called the uh, uh, Video Games and Wrestling Experience podcast. Yeah, the Sunny and Finn Experience. Yeah, we're not called Sunny and Finn anymore. We're called uh, Fred and Dave. Yeah. The- <laughs> <laughs> Fred, Fred and Dave's Video Games and Wrestling Experience. I like how they've given them, like, like they're the fucking asterisks or something like, or I can't remember, I can't even pronounce it. Asterisks, you know, like the yeah, Vi- I mean. yeah, asterisks, yeah. yeah. It's like they're them. Uh, uh, Eivor and Eric, they're Viking names. Give them them. <laughs> what are so you bad. doing? Uh, it's embarrassing. I mean, WWE must have seen the backlash the day after and thought, we fucked up here. We have. Yeah, please change it back. Or just change it to something else. Like, apparently, the original name is going to be called um, The Berserkers, which isn't a great name, but it's better than bloody Viking the Experience. The Viking Experience, which is <laughs> yeah. terrible. Uh, it's so terrible. Thank God almighty. <laughs> uh, what, but yeah, they, they messed it up big time. <laughs> yeah, they fucked it up, yeah. Oh, uh, dear. What else happened? Um, oh, that was a funny little, uh, little botch that we did. Um, so I had uh, w- Rudin Gable. Um, oh, yeah. Promo <laughs> saying, who, they say he wanted a fight. So who's it going to be? And which, they got the Usos, which would have been a nice surprise if they didn't put up the nameplate like, as they were talking. Uh, or the Usos. <laughs> so, yeah, thanks for that. Um, yeah, good one. Uh, yeah. Also, some weird sound effects, like some bullet sound effects played at one point. So you're like, a, like a, a thing coming next. Like, coming up next is like uh, the... I don't know, Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins do a thing. It's like some weird bullet sound effects. It's like, really? Like, yeah, it's like, I mean, it's like, like a, oh, is that the new transition sound effect? That's weird. But then it never happened again. It's like, I think someone just like pressed like, the wrong button somewhere backstage. It's like, it's, it's like these like, sound effects they've added to Ricochet's entrance. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. It's like, <laughs> like when he takes his hood off and it goes, <laughs> like fucking thunder and stuff. Yeah. And that yeah. creaking noise they've added to Alistair Black's like chair thing that comes up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh god, I hate that. That's really bad. It's, it's terrible. terrible. There's, there was another one for Ricochet as well. There was the. He's now got two sound effects. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's. I don't. I, I just don't understand. It's very strange. It's bizarre, mate. It's really bizarre. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh yeah, we talked about the uh, EG3 getting squashed thing. Um, uh, old Kevin Owens uh, joining the New Day. Uh, that was weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Biggie's injured, which sucks. Um, Yep. Uh, hopefully we'll be back soon. Um, but yeah, Kevin Owens. Um, I was convinced like Kevin Owens was going to turn, turn heel late at night. And just yeah, me him. too. I was 100% convinced and it just it never just, happened. Yeah, maybe the building up to it, maybe it'll happen like, in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, very strange. Because at the really? minute, we don't really have a challenger for Kofi's belt. Yeah. So I, I mean, I read be... that it was going to be Cesaro. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'd be okay with that. Where's Seamus, though? 
I think he's injured, injured as well. Oh, he's injured as well? Yeah, you're shame. Oh, but the thing is, though, I know injuries are obviously unfortunate and you don't wish them on anybody, but, you know, if Cesaro is going to get a title push out of this mm. and a main event run, That'd be awesome. then it's long overdue for a start. Um, and I'm, I'm fine with it. Yeah. In all, quite honestly, I am. Yeah, me too. That'd be cool. I would like to see heel Kevin Owens like, yeah, do, doing the business there as well. Yeah, yeah, because, like, I mean, it would be okay as a face if it wasn't such a good heel before. It's like, it's such a, such a weird turn. It's very strange. Like, seeing him dancing and stuff like that, I'm not into it at all. Yeah. I don't even think this is going to lead to a heel turn in a couple of weeks. I think it has to. Yeah. yeah speaking of heel turns, actually, Sami Zayn turned heel. Uh, awesome. Which is, yeah, really cool, actually. Got a really cool promo on, uh, I think it was SmackDown. Uh, the moment of listing. No, it was Raw, wasn't it? It was um, Raw, yeah. Yeah. Like, it started off, everyone cheering him, cheering his entrance theme. Like three times, <laughs> and then um, like by the end of it, he's like everyone had him, had him like booing him, like booing him out the building. It was like yeah, very cool. And uh, this, good. this, and this alone deserves to earn Sammy a push. Oh yeah, for sure, he's great. I love Sammy Zane. Yeah, he could be the top heel in the company with doing stuff like that. Oh yeah, so so good, so good. Yeah, I'm I'm fully into this uh, Sammy uh, heel turn. Me, yeah, me too, definitely. Um. Yeah, that's that. Um, and then the big thing was, of course, uh, Roman Reigns coming to SmackDown. Yes. Uh, which is Vince McMahon in the face, which is cool. <laughs> Where does this go? Um, I don't know. I think he uh, feuds with Elias for a, a bit. Yeah, that makes sense. Because uh, Kev- if Kevin's a champion, I can't see him going after Kofi just yet. No, no, no. Having a face versus face thing, that'd be a bit weird. I think they, um, I think they, they can't build, they can't give Roman Reigns a title shot just yet. I think it has to wait a while. Yeah, let me see. Uh, seems to be. I know he's getting more like more like a a badass, uh, quote unquote, character. Because obviously he pins bunch Vince McMahon in the face, and he's like, "Is it my yard now?" Ooh. It's, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe he's getting more of a more down that route. Maybe. Maybe. Who knows? Um, maybe I, yeah. I'd be fine with that. I mean, I think he might feud with Elias uh, through Money in the Bank, which is the next pay per view. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. Because like four weeks away or something. So even more yeah, than that, sense. I think it's like five weeks away. So um, yeah, it's a while away. So they've got a lot to build, but which is yeah. good because after the after the superstar shakeup, you do have to now, you know, establish these people that are on have moved brands and stuff like that. So gives chance for things to build up before the next pay per view, and five weeks should be ample time enough to do that. I would have thought. Yeah. So you exactly. can also establish contenders to win money in the bank. Yeah. Because I imagine you'll have a joint women's one and a joint men's one. Yeah, I think, I think they said it's going to be only going to be two this year. Good. Yeah, makes sense. It's, 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 it, otherwise, it's overkill. Yeah, definitely. Sorry, sorry about laughing. I saw a uh, Photoshop of Mrs. Dad evading off against the Undertaker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> pretty funny. Uh, but yeah, so I mean, it's. I think. I mean, the last couple of weeks have been average, but it's difficult the night after WrestleMania because I. You know, you've got a lot to live up to because of the way they promote it now. Yeah. And there's no way that every year it can live up to that. Not a chance. Especially when you just brought up so many people from NXT. Yeah, definitely. So it's very difficult to do that. Um and like last week, I understand why the shows were the way they were, because you've got to bring people over and people just aren't gonna start feuds instantly. No. So I think from next week, we might start to see things taking a little bit more shape. and It's, it's needed, and that's what needs to happen, I think. Yeah, definitely, I agree. Um, what are your thoughts, by the way, on uh, the, Shield, the Shield's final chapter? Um, it's going to be streaming tomorrow. Do you think Dean's actually leaving, or do you think he's going to stick around and it's going to be some sort of big turn? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I don't think they would save a turn for a glorified house show, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, at one, at the reckon. minute, I don't know, because he's not been on Raw or SmackDown or anything like that, um, but he has been appearing afterwards like to th- thank the crowd and stuff like that. Mm. But they're advertising the fact that this is happening, and I'm still not convinced that he's going. No, I'm not. Um, I reckon this will happen as normal. We don't think we'll see a turn on that, but then maybe in a couple of weeks, that turns about no attacks from Reigns or attacks Seth Rollins. Um, maybe it'll come up like like masks and three masks, uh, someone's like attacking superstars. Oh, who could it be? And then after a few weeks, it, yeah, he takes a mask. Was like, God, it's me, Austin. It's me. <laughs> it's me all along. Um, but yeah, I, th- I think what might happen, and um, this is I'm predicting this now. 
Uh, I think three masked men will come up. Oh. Uh, one of them will be Dean. Like mm-hmm. He'll be in the background. And the leader of the group, obviously, I think you know where this is going, probably, mm-hmm. will be Sin Cara. Oh, of course, yeah, Sin Cara. Yeah, makes yeah. perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, Dean Ambrose, uh, the Super Lucha, probably, and uh, <laughs> Sin Cara. I mean, yeah, it makes perfect sense, because where's Sin Cara been? Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where's he drafted to? Yeah, seriously. Just on the new deal. Come on, get him in there. Yeah. yeah. Stop messing around. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't know. <laughs> At least with Rey Mysterio and that being on Raw, uh, and Andrade being on Raw, we, we have the potential to get that match again. Oh, yeah, that'd be awesome. Or Sin Cara might go to Raw, which makes perfect sense because he's a big star and will be on D- WWE 2K20 box. And oh. you know, they could actually put that faction together, the Mexican guys. <laughs> It's the better name than the wagon experience. Uh, <laughs> what the Mexican guys? Yeah, the it, Mexican, it'd be like Mexican when uh, it's like when they had Super Crazy and Hooventude and someone else. Oh yeah, and then they came down on they came down on lawn mowers. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, classic racist WWE. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So we've got the Japanese experience on SmackDown with uh, Oscar and Kyrie Sane. <laughs> yeah, the um. The, the black experience with the New Day. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> and the Viking experience on Raw. Uh, now yeah. all we need is the Mexican experience that we just talked about. Yeah, it'd be perfect. Yeah. <laughs> World Wrestling Experience. Yes. WWE. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good times. Oh, dear. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Guys, this has been episode 83. No, wrong. 93 of the Games and Grouts podcast. We are a almost weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere. Everywhere. And youtube.com forward slash Games and Grouts. Yes. Yes. Uh, but thank you very much for listening. We'll be back next week with another episode. I'm Sonny. I'm in. And we'll see you next time, guys. Take it easy. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye. Experience.